I continue the first lecture kinematics. Previous time I introduced the position vector. In this video, I will introduce something related to velocity. So there are three things you should remember. The first one is average velocity. The second one is instantaneous velocity. The last one is speed. So we move to it. Firstly, let's talk about the average velocity. So we calculate the average velocity by this way. You get the displacement divided by the time that you need to have that displacement. And then uh, if you consider in XYZ system coordinate like this, so you can write in components like this way. Take a look on the picture here. You see that the average velocity will uh, uh, arrange along the displacement. And take a look on the formula. It's the same. Because uh, here, um, delta t is time, is a number, and delta r is displacement. It is a vector. Therefore, the average velocity here also a vector. In uh, international system uh, unit, delta r is measured in uh, meter. Delta t is measured in second. So the unit of average velocity is meter over second. If uh, you want to calculate the value of this vector so you apply this formula to calculate it now let's talk about the average speed if you want to calculate the average speed you have to measure all the path and you divide by the time that you need to have that path so you have a speed so you see the path is a number therefore average speed is also a number while the average velocity is a vector that is the main difference uh, now we move to the um, instantaneous velocity so if you want to calculate the velocity you also get the displacement divide by the time that you have the uh, that displacement but in this case the delta t here is very small compared to one second why i take one second because uh, we consider the international system unit and time is measured in second so i take one second to compare so if delta t is very small in uh, in comparison with one second in this case you don't divide but you take the derivative of r with respect to time in XYZ system coordinate, you can write by this way. So, uh, in this case, I, if you want to calculate the, the speed, the value of this vector, you apply this formula. And the direction of this vector, you focus on this picture here. Here is the path. And here is the instantaneous velocity. So you see, the instantaneous velocity is tangential to the path. Uh, while when you consider the average velocity, so the direction of the average velocity is the direction of the displacement. Note that if you want to solve exercise and you don't know or whether you want to calculate the average velocity or the inter uh, in instantaneous velocity in this case you focus on delta t the if the question asks you that calculate the velocity at the moment t equal uh, a number so because you calculate the velocity at the moment so that means that is the instantaneous velocity but when you see uh, there is an interval of time so that is displacement moreover 
when you see a from given you have uh, expressions uh, uh, of x or y so i mean x depend on time y depend on time or some kind of that so in this case usually you have to calculate the instantaneous velocity here is the example from given you have a x is an expression which contains a time and the same for y at the moment t equal 15 second and ask you to calculate the instantaneous velocity so you remember that in xyz system coordinate so vx and vy are the component of v the x you take the derivative of x with respect to time vy sorry this one is y vy you take the derivative of y with respect to time then mm, you put this expression of x to this place you put this expression of y to this place and then you take the derivative like that so you have the result here is the result of the x here is the result of the y you see the x depend on time the y depend on time now you put time equal 15 seconds here and here so you have a number number and here is the uh, instantaneous velocity remember uh, you have to take the derivative first after that you put the time up to the exp expression to the result if you put the time first so you have a number of x here x is a number if you put the time first so here you put the time here 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 so you have x and y are numbers in this case if you take the derivative so you have a zero so it will be wrong so you have to take the derivative with respect to time first after that when you have a result the x depends on time the y depends on time so then you put the time to the expression of the x and the y so you have a value and next i want to introduce uh, an example for the average speed i suppose that uh, a truck uh, passed through some segments uh, one two three four like this the first distance is 30 miles the time is one hour the second is 45 miles the time is two hours and the same for the third and the fourth if you want to calculate the average speed so you sum all the distance divide by all the time so you have a result like that and now um, the next quantity will be acceleration uh, but I will introduce it in the uh, next video. We stop for the velocity today. Thank you for watching.